Hey guys, what's up? Skills a lot here, and today we are bringing you episode 8 of our Stardew Valley playthrough. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's see what the weather report is about. Welcome to KOZV5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. And living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Okay, so let's head outside. Oh, there's someone visiting us. What's going on? Clint, ah, uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. So now we learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upper upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what journal entry we have. We have Forging Ahead, where we have to craft a furnace. We have to get to level 5 in the mines, and we have to build a coop. First, let's go ahead and water our plants for today, like we do every morning. Alrighty, and our plants here. And there we go. And then our parsnips here. And there we go. And let's see what the letter is about. Robin here, I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand gold when you're ready for it. Okay. And let's see, what did we want to do today? Um, let's see. So we have 20 copper ore. We have parsnip in here. Let's see what else is needed for the community center. I think we still need the horseradish, don't we? We do. We still need a wild horseradish, so let's try and find that. Let's take these minerals here, donate them to the museum, do our daily foraging, and get all the basic stuff out of the way. So there's a daffodil. Let's see, still no sign of a horseradish. Okay, let's see here and back down this way. Alrighty, let's see. I'm up here. I'm not seeing any horseradish. I'm seeing another daffodil. Let's take that. I'm not seeing anything else interesting here. We really do need to find that horseradish, but we don't seem to be having any luck. No luck with the horseradish. That's, that's too bad, because I did want to get that dealt with as soon as possible, but we can only find with the game spawning, so if there's no horseradish around, nothing we can do about that. Let's just wander up here. And let's head down this path, because sometimes stuff spawns down this path. Let's just see if we run into a horseradish. Okay, let's see here. Alrighty, let's see. There is no horseradish. Okay, that kind of sucks. Okay, let's head... Let's actually put the daffodil, one of them in here. We can give another one as a gift. Let's put this one in there to be sold. And then let's go ge deal with the geodes and the mineral. Oh, 
Alrighty, let's go get the minerals dealt with first. And then we can go get the geodes processed. There's another daffodil. There's all kinds of them. Alrighty, let's see. And over here. And let's see. Across the river. And to the museum. There it is. And let's talk to this guy and donate to the museum. Let's give Gunther that and that. There we go. And let's go get these geodes processed. And there we go up here. Talk to Clint. So we want to process process geodes. Um, we got something new. We got a thunder egg and another earth crystal. Okay. So let's donate the Thunder Egg, because that is a new one. There we go. Talk to Gunther. Donate to the museum. There we go. There. Alrighty. Now let's go check down by the beach, see if there's anything else we can forage. And let's see. Stuck on a rock and down this way. Oh, there's something there. Grab that up. It's a mussel. And let's see if there's anything else. Let's see here. There's a piece of coral, so let's take that. Nothing really else here. Okay. And let's go back. And we can sell that stuff at this point. And we'll check to see if there's a horseradish down the other way, on the other side of town. Let's see here. First, let's see if there's someone... Um, I think she lives in this house. No, this is the wrong house. Okay, then it's this one. Let's see. They do not appear to be home. Well, there's Emily. Okay, let's head this way then, and we'll see if we can find a horseradish. Because we really do need to find one. That way we can get that part of the things done. Oh, there's someone we can give a daffodil to that'll like it. Gasp! For me? Thank you! There we go. Let's see... I don't think our social's gone up very much. Okay, well, let's see if we can find a horseradish or just some more forage to make some more money. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a whole bunch of spring onions here. Or leeks. There we go, spring onions. Lots of spring onions. Get all those harvested. And another one down here. Alrighty. Let's head across the river and see if there's any forage over there. And then we'll figure out what to do with the rest of our day. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Any horseradish? Let's see. I'm still not seeing one, unfortunately. So it's going to take us a little bit longer to get the horseradish for the community center. Because it doesn't seem to want to spawn one. But that's alright. Nothing we can do about that. Let's see here. Head up this way. No. No horseradish. Okay. I guess we can head into the mine. Um, we gotta head back to... Okay, first let's dig up these earthworms. Oh, see there we go. Two things of copper ore. Always a good idea to dig up the earthworms when you see them. You never know what you're going to find. Alrighty. Let's head back then. And we'll drop stuff off to be sold. Um, let's see in this way.
Alrighty, let's see here. And go in here, drop this, drop this, this, and all these. Do we actually have what we need to build a furnace here? So we need 25 stone and 20 copper, or I do believe we have enough. Let's go in here. We do. Let's take the 20 of that and 25 stones. There we go. Crafting a furnace. There we go. And now we got to smelt a copper bar. I think that takes five ores. And a coal. Okay. There we go. There we go. We're going to have our first copper bar. So let's go ahead and wait for that to smelt there. And we'll have our first copper bar. Just waiting for this to finish smelting there. There we go. So we have our first copper bar. Let's go ahead and put that in storage. And the journal update's done. And let's go into the mine for just the last little bit of the day. Finish up, hopefully hit level 5 in the mine. And continue filling out the journal. No, we can't go that way. Alrighty. Back around, because it's almost 5 o'clock. If we stay in the mine till about 10 o'clock, 10.30... It'll still give us lots of time to get home. Hopefully we can get to level 5 in the mine. We'll wait and see. But that's where we're on our way right now. Let's see here. And go up this way. Alrighty. There we go up here. There we go. And then this way. Yeah, yeah, by the time we get there, we'll be down there for about four hours. And then up here. And descend into the mine. Here we go. Just start knocking away at these pieces. There's the ladder. Now, oh, let's see. Copper right off the bat. And whatever this blue stuff is. Amethyst. Nice. Let's see here. Continue clearing all this all these rocks out. There's the ladder we need. And a quartz. And let's head down another level. Let's see if we can find anything good in here. Kind of keep mining away. And fight the slimes. Oh, hey. So there we go. So we're now on level four. Oh, but we need the copper. Oh, and we got a geode. Poisoned. Ow. Die, you stupid slime. Ow. There we go. Let's mine this copper. Let's break all these stones here. Another copper ore. It's actually really good that we're getting all this copper. Because to upgrade your tools, it does take quite a bit of copper. Let's just continue mining here. See if we can find the path. Oh, the coal. Um, we don't need the slime. There we go. I don't know if we're going to find the path in time. We're almost out of energy again. Let's see, we just want to get to level 5. Think we're gonna get to level five again. Oh. 
But no, we're not going to get there. What is that? Let's get rid of this hole and see what that is. We got a crab. Okay, but unfortunately we didn't make it to level 5 again. So we'll try again tomorrow and hopefully we'll eventually get there. Oh yeah, it's after 10. We should be heading back now. Because if you get to bed too late, it does count against you. Okay, let's head back to the farm. I think it's at about 1 in the morning if you're not to sleep by then. Um, you lose energy. Oh, but we're catching Linus going through the garbage. Okay. Grr, sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Um, let's see. I don't think... Mm. No, let's go with no, it's a shame. Thanks, I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Okay, now we gotta get home soon, because it's starting to get late. Let's see. It's getting really late. It's almost, it's after 11 now. Well, let's see what the mission is. So, he wants us to ca catch three sardines. I'll take that tomorrow if it's still there. But let's just get back for now. It's re getting really late in game. Alrighty. So we already donated a quartz. So let's go ahead and put the quartz in here. And we'll store the rest. There we go. There we go, guys. Well, that's been episode 8 of Stardew Valley. If you did enjoy it, feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.